Hi Church, great to see you again for our devotions today and we really hope that you are enjoying the book of Jude. What a fantastic series that we're in right now. If you haven't already, why don't you take some time to read the book of Jude. Don't worry, it's only one chapter, it's super short and almost if you like a postcard from a, a leader full of wisdom to a church that needs encouragement and edifying at the time and it is still so relevant to us today as believers. And uh, Jude reminds us that we are people of the truth. It is truth, God's truth, that sets us free and can set others free as well. We want to read from John chapter 8 today, verses 32, uh, 31 and 32 says, and this is Jesus speaking to the Jews uh, who believed in him. If you abide in my word, then you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Now, it's so important for us to understand that uh, other truths, our own truths, a myth, manifesting something into being doesn't set you free. Philosophy doesn't set you free. Good works don't set you free. Crystals or anything else, leprechauns, <laughs> so, you know, those kind of things do not set you free. It is only the truth that sets you free and the truth is a person his name is Jesus John chapter 14 verse 6 says and this is Jesus speaking again I am the way the truth and the life the truth of the Bible is the rule for how we as Christians live our lives as followers of Jesus it is a hill for us to die on a place for us to build and to grow our faith Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is faith that saves people and it's faith that positions you to receive from God. And really faith is core to our followership of Jesus Christ. Um, so much so that when the word of God is undermined, it is our faith that's being attacked. We have to contend and fight for our faith. And it's always been uh, the same pattern that uh, the enemy attacks faith in our lives. It was the same in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. If you remember, the enemy came to Eve and undermined the word of God. He said, did God really say? And uh, of course, Eve didn't hear from God firsthand. She heard what God had spoken to Adam and so it's really important for us to receive a personal revelation, to hear from God firsthand. He's speaking to us today and speaking directly into our own lives. And so our encouragement to you really is that you would uh, make space in your life, make time in your day to day for pursuing and deepening your relationship with Jesus. That is our top priority. And uh, in doing so, we're confident that you will receive first-hand revelation of the Word of God and continue to be a person of truth. We love you so much, Church, and we hope you have a fantastic rest of the day.